firstly, if, if we leave many issues that are arising along this particular issue, uh, I think we have said so. Firstly, the Deputy President answering this very question in Parliament did <coughs> assure the country that <coughs> on the day the pensioners will be supposed to get their <coughs> money, they will get uh, their pensions and everything. And, and I'm repeating that, it, it will. They will get it. <coughs> uh, there has been an anxiety in the country, given what has happened. I've firstly met the Minister of uh, Social Development and, and her team, who briefed me as to what has happened since uh, the decision of, of, this, uh, of the uh, Constitutional Court, as well as what is happening currently to ensure that <clears throat> on the date set for <clears throat> the old ones and the young ones and the disabled people, they will receive their pay. <clears throat> and, and that to me is more important than many things. I also, because I wanted certainty, I also <clears throat> asked for two ministers uh, with their teams uh, so that I could engage them before I left the country. And this is I did. And we agreed that by the time I come back uh, in a few days' time, they would have moved very far to solve the problem. <clears throat> and and they, had been, they had been discussing. And, and what was left really is for the, for the officials to meet and report with the ministers a solution. <clears throat> there is no way that a country can fail to pay its pensioners. <clears throat> and, and I would suggest that uh, the nation should really come down <clears throat> and wait for that date. It is unfortunate that uh, people have been going ahead of the events on this matter. For an example, before the date comes, there are people who are speaking as if the date has come and passed, who are saying, department has failed or the minister has failed, but the date has not come. <clears throat> Others are calling for an example for the dismissal of the minister because she has failed, but the date has not come. How do you judge a person before the event? I think it's somewhat <clears throat> worrying that people seem to be having preconceived ideas on this matter. And, and I would really like to appeal that people should come down and wait for the first as to what is going to happen. And we are, I'm repeating, having, having been assured by the ministers that I've met, knowing what work has been going on, no one, and, and ministers did say, you, it cannot be that uh, on the first <clears throat> pensioners don't get their pay. They will get their pay. And therefore the country must really not <clears throat> take this matter as if a problem as a reason. But I would also like to appeal to the ministers themselves that they should not talk in public and answer questions. Uh, they must work on what we have agreed they need to work on and pay people on the date. Because <clears throat> talking to the country, answering questions of people is not helping. In fact, it helps to fertilize the situation where people make a lot of speculation and everything. So I think ministers must not stop talk, including their spokespersons. I think the point has been made, the lesser we talk, the better. That we work towards ensuring that on the first, <clears throat> pensioners are paid. Is there's no useful purpose that is going to be served if we keep on answering people and therefore feeding into the speculation that indeed there is a crisis. I think you can say there is a crisis if after the first, nobody is paid. People say there is a crisis now when there is no crisis. People are working, they know what they are doing. And I don't think anyone in his senses will say, well, we can't pay while the money is there precisely because some technical things have not been done. And therefore, I'm really appealing to the country, even to those who are posing a lot of questions that they can pose a lot of questions after the first. For now, questions have been posed, and I think 
The answer is yes. On the first, people will be paid. So I don't think we should, in a sense, <coughs> dramatize the matter. Let us, in, in fact, those who are working on it, because they know what they are doing, there is no need to answer people. The answer must be the payment of the pensioners on the first. That should be the answer, really, to all questions that are being raised. Let us not speculate, because that will exacerbate the debate on speculation. <clears throat> that has to be done. It cannot be done. It cannot be done. And it, it, people cannot fail to do it. It will be done. The reason why I asked the ministers is because I was leaving the country. I wanted to be more certain. Whilst I'd been briefed, but because of the speculations, I thought it was important for me to meet the ministers to make sure and to give the necessary instructions that on the first, <clears throat> old people must be paid their pensions.